And I ask that we all find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. And any easy seat that feels good for you, we use this seat to help ground and root our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight and our spinal cords are nice and long. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears, completely, completely relaxing our bodies here. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, hold your breath, exhale. As we gaze our eyes down, taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. Breathe in. Exhale. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for us. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Exhale through the mouth. as we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we allow our palms to relax on the sides of our bodies, our fingertips are touching the earth as we are becoming connected to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us without judgment. Simply being aware. And during our session, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. Whatever it may be, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our present moment. Two breaths of silence. Breathe in. Exhale the palms above the head, coming into a salute. Fingertips reaching up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Shoulder blades reaches up towards the ears. Nice deep stretch, breathe in. Exhaling the palms together. Our palms are interlaced. Our pointer finger is pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra comes open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms, our shoulders to melt towards the back, feeling this slight back bend. Holding this pose, two breaths. Exhaling to our salute. Breathing to our prayer as we flow our palms back up to our salute, feeling that circular rotation, reaching up to the heavens. Exhale into Rotating the arms back up to our salute, palms above the head. Palms together, heart chakras open. Breathe in. Exhale our palms to our seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are apart. Yes, we're gonna hold our palms apart open, chin is slightly up, eyes are gazed down. With our palms apart, we are channeling in positive energies, allowing anything in that is positive and helpful. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, seated C spine, right side, allowing the body to lean towards the right, feeling this side bend here. Noticing how this feels. Tummies are nice and tight. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra, two breaths. Exhale into center. And tummy. relax. As we breathe to the opposite side, C spine, left side, feeling this side bend here. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing to our salute, bringing our palms together. 
exhale a prayer, relax in the body. Flowing back up to our salute, feeling the movements here. Separating our arms, coming into a star. We are in our seated star. Palms are slightly off towards the side. Chin, heart chakras open. We are a star. We are feeling the power within us. We are feeling our strength. Two breaths. Breathe in. Slightly twist our bodies towards the right. Feeling that. Spinal twist, palms, left hand comes to the front, to the back, as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling this spinal twist here. We are relaxing and soothing our spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, coming back to that seated star. Palms are off towards the side, heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up, breathe in. Twist the body towards the left, working on that twisted spine, lowering the palms down, gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling the spinal twist, three breaths. Allowing the spinal cord to relax here. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star, flowing to that salute, palms together. Exhale the prayer. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Noticing how this feels, our knees are hip distance apart, our tummies are nice and tight here. Drop our tummies down, chin slightly up, flowing into our cow pose. Noticing how this feels in our lumbar spine. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Our chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heaven. Cat pose. Two breaths. Going back to our cow. And maybe we can do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna take our right arm and reach it up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open up at our right, at our right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, threading that right arm through the left, thread the needle, heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. Using this pose to relax and soothe and go inward. Heart chakra is melted towards the earth. And if we choose, maybe we can take that left arm and wrap it around our backs. Mm. Or we can take that left arm and bring it above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever feels good for you. As we hang out here, relax and go inward for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table as we reach that left arm up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our left fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right. Heart chakra comes down, relaxing the head towards the earth. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward, completely relaxing here. If we choose, we can wrap that right arm around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever you choose, five natural breaths.
three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, knees or hip distance apart, our elbows are nice and straight as we drop down to our cow pose. Chin is up, exhale into cat. Lowing back to our table as we work on balancing our bodies here and strengthening. We're gonna take that right leg, bring it up towards the back. We are in our sunbird pose. Right leg is towards the back. Both of our palms are flat on the earth as we are gazing forward. If we feel like we have our balance, we can take that left form and extend it in front of us. We are in our full sunbird. Tummies are tight. If we are losing our balance, we can take that right leg, our right toes, and lower the toes downward towards the earth, allowing our bodies to balance here. Whatever we choose, we're going to hang out here in this sunbird for four natural breaths, building strength and balancing our bodies. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. We are working our bodies, knee to elbow. Feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it in, two breaths. Balance the body here. Exhale and back to bird. We're going to hold that leg out towards the back. Tummy's nice and tight. As we lift that right leg up nice and high. We're going to feel our gluteus maximus burn in here, lifting that leg up higher, feeling that gluteus maximus burn. Maybe we can pulse it, pulsing that right leg up. If we need to lower our left hand down, that left hand down to the earth, <sighs> feeling the burn here in our gluteus maximus. This is rounding and lifting buttocks. We don't have to pulse. If we need to, we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling back to our table, dropping down to our cow, relaxing the body, flowing to our cat, coming back to our table, and we're going to keep on flowing, thread the needle, I'm, I'm sorry, sunbird opposite side, left leg goes out towards the back, feeling the body balance here. Both of our palms are on the earth. Once we have our balance, we're going to extend that right arm forward. We are in our full sunbird here. Gazing forward, tummies nice and tight. Balancing the body for four more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it in two breaths. Flowing back to bird. We're gonna lift that left leg up nice and high, keeping in mind that we can lower our hands downward towards the earth if that feels good as we pulse our legs up. We are rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. We can stay still if we choose or lower those toes downward towards the earth. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, exhaling back to table, dropping down to our cow, exhaling to our cat, lowering back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left to right, tummy's nice and tight here. Three breaths. Finding our pause, we're gonna shift our body forward, coming into a high plank, building strength, dropping down to the knees if need be, or flowing down to a low plank, if that feels best for you. Two breaths. Exhale down to low plank for Chaturanga. We are hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhaling down to our Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms here. 
Sphinx pose, relaxing on our forearms. Sometimes in our Sphinx pose, we kind of sunk our bodies down. We want to have control of our backs, lifting and relaxing our ears away, relaxing our shoulders away from our ears here. This is a slight back bend. Sphinx pose. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Gaze in the eyes down low, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Taking in natural breaths. Noticing how our heartbeat is starting to regulate. Relax. Two more breaths. As we flow to our baby cobra and our baby cobra, our palms are next to our torso. Our elbows are slightly bent. Torso is slightly away from the earth. We are in our baby cobra, bent elbows. As we flow to our cobra, straightening out those elbows. Our thighs are still on the earth. Chin is slightly up here in our cobra. Exhale into that up dog. We take our thighs off the earth. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. We are now in our up dog. Two breaths. Exhale and back down to our cobra, coming on to our thighs. Elbows are straight. Two breaths. Flowing back down to our baby cobra. We're gonna bend our elbows. Torso comes closer to the earth. May we take a moment to notice the difference between an up dog, cobra, and baby cobra. As we flow back to our Sphinx pose, coming on to our forearms. Shoulders are melted away from the ears. The poses we just did are all back bends, slight back bends. Breathe in. Exhale. Gaze in the eyes down. We're closing the eyes. As we take a moment to go inward, to focus on the poses we just did. Baby cobra, cobra, up dog, and sphinx pose. Taking a moment to notice how all of the poses that we just did are very similar, but not quite the same. And maybe taking a moment to notice how each of those poses felt within the body. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow back to our baby cobra, elbows are slightly bent, torso slightly away from the earth. Flowing up to our cobra, straightening out those elbows, feeling this back bend. Exhale into our up dog, taking those thighs off the earth, heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale, down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Tummy's nice and tight here. Finding our paws, hanging out here for a couple seconds. We are working the upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Taking a moment to allow the mind and the body to relax and soothe. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as our third eye chakra, our forehead, connects to the earth. As we are rooted within our environment, may we take this time to go inward and self-reflect. Relaxing and soothing whatever the body may need, five natural breaths. Mm. Breathe in, exhale. Three more breaths. Mm. Ex 
extending our palms in front of us if they were not already. Palms are flat on the earth. We are now in our extended child's pose, puppy pose. Slightly gazing forward. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this position. Using our hands to push our bodies forward. Using our hands to push our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. Tummies are nice and tight. Noticing how this spinal wave feels within the spinal cord. It literally relaxes and soothes and lengthens the spine. And if we choose, we can be nice and flexible in this pose by allowing our neck, our cervical spine to relax and flow as well. Allowing the body to completely soothe, simply having fun in this spinal wave as we loosen our bodies, as we loosen our spinal cord, as we relax and flow for three more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna bring our knees to hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, tummies down, chin is slightly up, cow pose. Maybe allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades, going nice and deep in our cow. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Lower back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our pulse, we're gonna breathe that right foot forward, coming into a runner's lunge. Hanging out here just for a second, noticing how this feels, runner's lunge. As we straighten out that front leg, flowing into a pyramid. Torso's relaxing over that thigh. Eyes are gazed down and relaxed here. Feeling this body stretch. Allowing the head to relax over that thigh. Two breaths. Body's melted forward, relaxing. Exhale back to that runner's lunge. We're gonna bend that front knee. We are back in that runner's lunge. Hanging out here for a second. As we bring that right arm inside of our thigh. Noticing how this feels. Both of our palms are on the earth inside of our thigh. We are in our lizard prep pose. We're gonna hang out here just for a second to see how this feels. If this feels well, we're gonna twist our bodies towards our right leg. Right arm goes up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are in our revolved twist. We are gazing up at that right hand towards the heavens. Noticing how this feels in the body. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, bringing the both palms flat on the earth, bringing that hand in, right hands in. We're gonna hang out here just for a second. Noticing how we feel. As we twist our bodies to the opposite direction, left arm goes up in the air, gazing up at that left hand. Low lunge twist, opposite side. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. We're going to twist our bodies back towards the right one more time. Right arm goes up in the air, bodies twist towards that right leg, gazing up at the heavens. And this pose here is called a revolved twist. Whenever our bodies are twisted towards our leg, it is called a revolved pose. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. We're going to flow back to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, allowing the torso to relax over that thigh. Breathe in, exhale. And now I want the torso to completely relax here. Eyes are gazed down, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, bending that front leg, coming back into that runner's lunge as we flow back to down dog. Gazing at our feet, pedaling our feet as we walk our dog. Tummies are nice and tight here. Finding our pause as we bring that left foot to left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. Noticing how this feels. Hanging out here just for a second. Straightening out that front leg, coming into a pyramid. Opposite side, torso relaxes over that thigh. 
Eyes are gazed down. Two breaths. Going back to that runner's lunge, bend in that front knee. We are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're going to bring that left hand inside of our thigh, prepping our bodies to do our twist, noticing how we feel as we twist our bodies towards the left, towards our left leg. Left arm goes up in the air, gazing up at our fingertips if that feels good for us. We are in our revolved twist. It's called revolved because our bodies are twisted towards our thigh. Two more breaths. Exhale the center, both palms are on the earth. Checking in with the body, if all feels well, may we twist towards the right. We are in our low lunge twist. Right arm goes up towards the heavens, gazing up at those right fingers, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale in both palms on the earth as we twist our bodies towards the left leg just for a second, bringing that left arm up to the heavens, gazing up at those fingers, two breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are on the earth as we flow to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath. Allow on the torso to relax over that thigh with the eyes gaze down or closed. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale into that runner's lunge, bending that front knee, runner's lunge. As we flow to down dog, gazing at our feet. We're gonna keep on flowing here as we shift our bodies forward, coming into a high plank. Tummy's nice and tight. We are building strength. Two breaths. Exhaling down to a low plank, Chaturanga, if that feels good for you. For you. Going down to our specs pose. We are on our four arms just for a second. Just for a moment, catching our breath. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Eyes are gazed down. Breathe in. Exhale. Using this Sphinx pose to relax and soothe. Two more breaths. Flow into our baby cobra, bending our elbows. As we flow to our cobra, exhale into up dog. We are off of our thighs. Exhale, down dog. Mm. Finding our pose as we walk our hands forward, we're coming to a complete forward fold. Feet comes to hands, we are in our complete forward fold. Gazing our eyes down, noticing how this forward fold is a relaxing pose. As we take a deep breath in, exhale. Maybe we can flow into a rag dial if that feels good for us. Maybe yogi walking our feet slightly apart to give us balance if that feels good. In our rag dial, our hands are connected to our elbows as our head completely falls over. <sighs> Maybe take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, relax in the body. And if we choose, maybe we can sway the body from side to side. That feels good for us. Mm. Three breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding our pause at center as we flow into a half forward fold. Chin is slightly up, half forward fold, two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, complete forward fold. Reaching our hands downward towards the earth, two breaths.
Exhale into half, forward fold. As we flow to our Tadasana, our palms are at our sides. We are in our mountain pose. Maybe we can pedal our feet, moving our legs from left to right. Noticing how that feels. Just for a second, as we find our pause in our Tadasana, reading our palms above our head in our salute, our standing salute, palms are above our head together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. So the difference between a standing salute is palms are together, standing salute, or extended mountain, palms are separated. Two breaths. Maybe coming up on our tippy toes if that feels good for you, feeling that full body stretch. <sighs> Bringing our palms at our salute, palms together as we flow to our prayer. Coming down off our tippy toes if we were there. Relaxing in our standing prayer. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from the ears. Tummy's nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long here. Eyes are gazed down or closed as we are going inward. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment in our standing prayer to go inward for four breaths of silent meditation. Taking a moment to notice what we feel at this very moment, whatever the feelings may be, without judgment. Two more breaths. Mm. Eyes are still gazed down. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Bodies relaxed. Mind is relaxed. Soul is at ease. Two more breaths of silent meditation. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Keeping our palms at heart center, slightly hinging at the hips, half forward fold, chin slightly up, noticing how this feels. Bending at our knees, coming into a chair pose. We can keep our palms at heart center, or we can extend our palms in front of us in our chair pose. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. Whatever feels good for you, prayer hands or extended palms. Your choice, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center if they were extended, two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, chair pose, twist right side, twisting that body towards the right. Two breaths. Exhale to center, chair pose, twist, opposite side. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, relax in the body. This here is a counter pose. It relaxes and soothes the muscles we just worked. With our eyes gazed down, we're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Reaching our hands downward towards our ankles or the floor. Two more breaths. Flowing to our rag doll, if that feels good for us. Mm. Flowing back to that complete forward fold, relaxing the body. Exhale to half forward fold. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Now with the body to relax, two more breaths. 
as we flow to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our sides. Maybe we can slightly bring our legs apart. Noticing how this feels, we are in a wide-legged Tadasana. As we drop on down to our squat, we're, we're not in a yogi squat, we are just in a squat. So we are working the lower parts of our body still. Noticing how this feels, we are in our squat pose. And in our squat, we can pulse it up and down if that feels good for you, or we can stay still. Whatever feels good for you, our goal is to strengthen and tone and firm the bottom parts of our bodies. Squat pose, four breaths. Pulse if you choose. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, flowing to our tadasana, straightening out our legs, palms are at our side. Breathe in. Exhale. Flowing to our salute or our extended mountain, palms are above our heads. Exhale the prayer. bringing our feet slightly apart as we come down to our goddess pose. We're going to bend our knees. We are now in our goddess stance. Knees are bent. Feet are pointed opposite sides of the room. We are in our goddess stance. We can flow into a cactus arms if that feels good. We can flow our palms above our heads and our salute in our goddess. We can exhale down the prayer. If that feels good. Whatever you choose. We are in our goddess stance. Four breaths. Still in a burn. We got this. Two more breaths. Building strength. <sighs> Exhale, complete forward fold. Relax in the body. We are in our wide legged forward fold. Head falls downward, reaching our right hand towards our right ankle, our left hand towards our left ankle. Now on the head to completely relax down. Breathe in. Exhale. Wide legged forward fold, four breaths. <laughs> Taking a moment to notice how the body is relaxed here. Two more breaths. <laughs> Breathe in deeply. Exhale. We're gonna do a bonus of two more breaths. Flowing back to our goddess stance, we're gonna bend our knees, feet are opposite sides of the room, coming into any goddess that feels good for us. Goddess, cactus hands, we can flow into our salute. We can exhale to our prayer. We can also goddess pulse, pulsing our bodies up and down if we choose. We can also goddess rock, rocking our bodies from side to side. Noticing how when we pulse and we rock, we're just going a little bit more deeper in strengthening and toning our lower parts. Four more breaths, whatever you choose. Hmm. Two more breaths, building strength. We are firming and toning here. We got this. Finding our pause here in our goddess. Flowing our hands up to our salute. Bringing our palms together above our heads. Exhale the prayer. Exhale, complete forward fold. We are in our wide legged. Head melts down, palms touches the earth. Palms are relaxed between our legs. Onto the earth with, if we're able. It's the full body stretch. Noticing how this feels behind your legs and your hamstrings. Maybe gazing our eyes down and closing our eyes if that feels good. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale as we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. If 
anybody's feeling funky and they know how to do it, feel free to flow into a headstand. Your choice. If not, we're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, we're gonna to flow to a wide-legged half forward fold. Hands are underneath our knees. Heart chakra slightly up, half forward fold. Noticing how this feels as we work on our cross body stretch. We're gonna take our left hand, connecting our left hand to our right ankle. Feeling that stretch. We're gonna take our right hand, our right hand behind our backs like we do on our thread the needle. As we softly gaze over our right shoulder, we are in a cross body stretch. Noticing how the body is relaxed and soothed here. This is a spinal twist as well as a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, come into a wide-legged hold. Two breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold. As we breathe our right hand towards our left ankle, crossing that left arm around the doing our thread the needle, softly gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling this full body stretch slash spinal twist. Four breaths. Mm. Bodies relaxed. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a half forward fold. Chin slightly up. Walking our hands forward to the front of the yoga mat, bringing our feet together. We are back in our down dog. Gazing at our feet, tummies nice and tight. Mm. Finding our pose as we flow down to our dolphin. Coming onto our forearms, we are in our dolphin pose. We are gazing back at our feet. If we choose, we can walk our feet closer towards our torso, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. Dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees as we flow our bodies into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead, is connected to the earth as we are going soothing and relaxing. Five natural breaths. Maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. as our heart chakra is connected to the earth. Our forehead, our third eye chakra is connected to the earth. We are grounded, we are connected, we are soothed. May we hang out here for four more breaths of silent meditation, listening to our environment, taking a moment to notice how we feel and what we need. Four breaths, silent meditation.
two more breaths. As we extend our palms in front of us, if they were not already coming into an extended child's pose, puppy pose, palms are flat on the earth. As we spine away wave our bodies out of this position, coming into a tabletop pose. <sighs> Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Lower back to our table. As we come onto our tummies, coming into a superman or a supergirl, we are laying flat on our tummies. We're going to swim our hands in front of us. We are in our superman, supergirl. Palms are off the earth. Legs and feet are off the earth. This is a slight back bend as we are gaze forward. And if we choose, we can fly left and right like we're flying superman, supergirl. If we choose, or we can hang out still. Two more breaths. As we flow our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, swimming our hands towards the back. Legs are still off the earth, palms are up towards the heavens. We are in our locust pose. This here is a slight back bend as well. Noticing how this feels, this pose, the poses that we are in right now are not good for anyone who's pregnant. So if you're pregnant, flow on out and come into a child's pose, puppy pose. Locust pose, three more breaths. Two breaths. Relaxing the body down. Arms fall down, legs fall down. Allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead, to connect to the earth. Shoulders melt forward. We are resting here. We are going inward. Maybe taking a deep breath. Exhale. As our bodies relax here in our locust pose. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Slightly awakening from that sleeping locust. Palms comes off the earth, feet comes off the earth. <sighs> we are back in our full look as we are awakened. Chin is slightly up. This is a slight back bend, noticing how this feels. Three breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. And if all three, we can flow into a half bow, connecting that right hand to that right ankle, half bow pose. If this feels good, full bow, left hand to left ankle. Yes, noticing how this feels. Torso comes further off the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body. Flowing back to that locust pose. Two breaths. Palms are heavens, feet and thighs are off the earth. Locust pose. As we swim forward, coming back to that Superman, Supergirl. Thighs, hands are still off the earth. Chin is up. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body down, bringing our hands in, stacking our hands on top of each other. As we relax our, our cheeks or our foreheads to our palms. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. We are in our sleep, in our rest pose. Eyes are gazed down, closed. Shoulder blades are melted forward into the yoga mat. Bodies relax. Mind is relaxed. The soul is at ease. 
as we allow our bodies to just completely go inward here. Maybe hanging out here in silent meditation for seven natural breaths. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Slowly awakening our bodies, coming into a Sphinx pose, coming onto our forearms. Slight eyes are still gazed down or closed. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Noticing how this feels in the body. Three breaths. Breathe in. Exhale to our knees, coming into a tabletop position. Dropping down to a cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you, I'm gonna come into a cow face pose. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Three breaths of silent meditation. Breathe in. Exhale. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing. Find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice teaching training and practicing self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly, and always is a blessing.
the light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.